It, it was a, a, a tune called Coleman's March. And this guy in the, in the 1890s was a shoemaker, lived in the mountains in Kentucky. And there's several versions. He has wife and wife and wife and sister-in-law and mother-in-law, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, his wife disappeared and they charged him with her murder. And they had a big trial and he was convicted. Well, uh, while waiting for the uh, execution to be carried out, he let, he was allowed to have his fiddle. He was a very fine fiddle player. And on the way to the gallows that day of the execution, he asked the sheriff if it would be okay if he played his fiddle while, you know, moving on down the road. Sure, sure, fine. So they put the coffin, which he's going to be buried in the ox cart, and he rode a straddle of the coffin and played his fiddle on the way down to the gallows. Well, there's a crowd gathered around, and he asked the sheriff if he could uh, make an announcement. They said, yeah, sure. Well, he said, anybody can come up and play that fiddle you might just play it, can have my fiddle. Because obviously he's not going to need it much longer. But some guy stepped up and played the tune that it was perfect. And they called it Coleman's March. Sometimes they call it the coffin, coffin tune or coffin fiddle. But it's real pretty tune, and, it's, and it drove me nuts when I learned to play it. <laughs> and I taught, I taught Jerry and Roger how to play it Sunday. You remember that? That was four days ago. Yeah, you, you took showers <laughs> since then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I, I'm you not pick up on it. I can pick up on it. Yeah, I don't. I can't play it the way you you have it written now or have it written now. I think Neil Walters. Yeah, did it, but I can't play it the way he did. I got mine off the internet. Go ahead.